Hey guys, how's it going? So Liverpool managed to pull that out of the bag then at the end, didn't they? Jeez. Honestly, I went into that game thinking Liverpool were going to lose. Anyway, those of you that have been around here a bit now will understand that I've kind of said that Arsenal are probably one of the probably the best team in the league right now. I know the table doesn't show it. I know that. I understand that. I understand that Arsenal are third and we're above them. But I do think that um, Arsenal are the best team in the league this year. Um, so make up that as you will, basically. Um, and I do think that I'd have taken a draw coming away from that anyway. Do you know what I mean? When we went into that game, I think anyone would have taken a draw against Arsenal. Keeps us in second place, point behind Man City, um, but above Arsenal still, which is one of the main points. You know, we need to try and knock them out of the uh, of contention, don't we? Um, for the league title and everything like that. Before we get any further, guys, into this match, we just want to give you a little quick reminder to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and most of all, question of the day, play of the match. Who is yours for Liverpool um, today? I don't think there's probably going to be many, in all fairness, but let me know down below who was your man of the match for Liverpool today. Um, so, guys, let's get into this, shall we? So first and foremost, they are the the out of tens from Sofa Score, I think it's called, or Score Sofa, one of them. Can't remember which one it is. Um, as you can see, they will, will stick to the Liverpool side. I agree with the Kelleher um, rating here of six point two. I feel, in all fairness, that had Allison been in net, he probably would have saved one of them goals, if not both of them. I don't know why I get that inkling, but I just do. I get that feeling that he would have done. Uh, Robbo. 6.4 for me is a little bit high in all fairness. I think he had a bad game today. Bad, bad game. Worst game of the season for me from Andrew Robertson. I do think that Van Dijk was a little bit at fault for that first goal because he should have come across to help him out and support him, especially when you've got a player like Saka out there. But still, he was running rings around him all game, wasn't he, guys? Let's be fair with ourselves right now. Van Dijk with a 7.7. He's probably only got that because he scored the goal, guys, you know, to equalise. Other than that, I think second half, he was a lot better than the first. But again, slow performance in the first half. Canate again, one of the probably his bad, one of his worst performances in a while. In all fairness, um, and I think Trent there at six point seven. I think he's only got that because of his assist. Again, in all fairness, I feel like this was probably Trent's worst performance of the season. I feel like it was pretty bad. Um, but we've got to give credit to Arsenal as well, guys. I know, like, I'm bashing a few of these players saying that the performances were bad, this, that, and the other. But Arsenal played really, really well, and you know the scores show there. You know. Um, you know, Arsenal played us a lot like they did City, like counter attacking us and everything like that, and letting us have the ball and everything. As we'll we'll find that out when we go to the match stats and everything like that. Um, Rafa Ryan right, Gavin Birch was probably the best midfielder we had out on the pitch, which doesn't go without saying. I feel like he's probably been the best player Liverpool have had all season, the most consistent anyway. Um, and McAllister again, I feel like I feel like I'm going to tell the truth. That whole left side of our team in the first half was shocking. Diaz, Maka, Robbo, Virgil. I think they were just pants, guys. I really, really do. Um, Curtis Jones playing further forward than he had done against um, Leipzig. Um, can't really knock him. I feel like he gave everything he could do, but again, not as good as he was the other day. Salah pulled it out of the bag, saved us as always. Um, he's had a really good season so far this year. I know we've got a few stats to cover for him, but I feel like he wasn't there a stat mentioned on the, um, on the commentary that he's now pulled away from... Jermaine Defoe, and he's now one goal behind Robbie Fowler for all time, you know, top goal scorers in the Premier League. So he's he's probably going to be that <laughs> by end of the season. <laughs> um, and Darwin Nunes, he's coming for a fair bit of stick, and you know, I didn't expect him to get that ball to Salah. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Um, and he proved that afterwards as well when we had, we you know, when we'd already scored, it was two two, and then he, he had that simple pass out to Shimikas, I think it was, and he just missed it completely. And the Arsenal player like intercepted it. Um, you know, but I feel like again he's put a shift in and he's doing well, and he needs this run of games to keep going. So he got an assist as well. So let's leave it at that, shall we? Um, Diaz again. I feel like again he that whole side of the, the team was shocking. So this was a bad game for him. Uh, onto the subs, I do think that Shimikas and Gapo solidified solidified that side of the pitch. They played a lot better than the other two did. And Sabozlai has just been doing a Sabozlai thing this year. Like he's not really showing much. And off again, I hate saying this. This saying, all fairness. I'm going to turn that into a bloody drinking game where this um, review is going. I do think Sir lies he needs to do something other than what it has been because it's not happening for him right now, isn't it? You know, a player of his calibre and of his style should be getting more assists and more goals. So, yeah, let's see what happens there. Moving on to the stats now then, guys. So here we can see that Liverpool had more possession. Both teams had the equal amount of shots, but we had more on target. Um, we also had the same amount of block shots. 
They had more touches in our box. Um, their goalkeeper made more saves. They won more aerial duels. They, we committed the same similar amount of fouls and we got more corners. I don't think they got a first corner, did they, until like near the end of the match. Um, and they probably should have had another one at the end of the game. I was going to say, um, one thing we can say about this match is the refereeing has been good. I was thinking that all game. I was like, bloody hell, we've had two games that refs been shocking in this game. The refs have not been too bad. And then he made that um, mistake at the end, which, you know, obviously it went against, went in our favour, shall we say. But if we're going to be non-biased, it should have been a corner to Arsenal. So, you know, you take it, don't you? You look of the rubbing air from that. So rub of the look, whatever it is. I can't remember what the saying is, but anyway. And then on to this last one, guys. Uh, so I said up to Joe that Mo Salah has scored 11 goals in 15 appearances against Arsenal. Only Harry Kane and Wayne Rooney have scored more against the Gunners in the competition. So he's got another game again this season to obviously bump that number up. So let's wait and see if he gets in a hat-trick maybe to tie that off. You know, we never know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? So anyway, guys, that's it for this review. Let me know down below what you think on all of this. I know... Many of us probably went into this game thinking we're going to win. I didn't. I'm happy with a draw. I would have taken that to start with if you'd have offered me at the beginning of the game. Um, on to Brighton now, isn't it? Let's see what happens there um, with that. Anyway, let me know down below. I remember question of the day. Who was your man of the match? Like this video, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.